please excuse me if there's a lack of professionalism in this. I just finished The Giver. And whew, that was a reread. Just the, such a perfect thing. Such a perfect, not long enough to be novel. So just book. But, like, there are a few things wrong with it, but, like, just, well, this is the most, the closest to a dystopia and the furthest from a dystopia I've ever read. Like, it's a utopia. Everything is perfect. But everything is wrong. People get killed because they're a lighter twin. And and people get killed because they make three mistakes. Wait, what's that? It's not me. Nothing that matters to me. Like, oh, that is a good angle. <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, just, it's, and just the scenes with the giver. And wow, there's a lot to talk about. It's just such a sad thing. But now, the ending. Does he die or not? I am not including any talk and do not speak of anything in the comments about the sequels. This was supposed to be a standalone, but the author wanted more money. So, this. So, did Jonas die? Let's see. In the end, major spoilers. Well, Jonas had no memories left at the end. And um, it was swirling snow. How could he get on? He had no food, no memories, nothing to help him the game. The last few paragraphs. Downward, downward, faster and faster. Suddenly, he was aware with certainty and joy that below ahead, they were waiting for him. And that they were waiting, too, for the baby. That's Gabe. But... So... But how could he know that if he were alive? That's something that I don't really regard as something good. But down, like, suddenly he was aware with certainty and joy. He, how can he be certain? But um, for the first time, he heard something that he knew to be music. He heard people singing. That could mean that he was dead. Behind him, across vast dis distances of space and time, from the place he had left, he thought he heard music too, but perhaps it was only an echo. That's the end of the book. So, there aren't many strong criteria for him being alive, but for him being dead. For the first time, he heard something that he knew to be music. He couldn't... He wouldn't be able to remember music when he was dead, if he couldn't know that there was music, if he were dead, um, he would just think it was. But it said he knew it to be music. He heard people singing. Singing. He didn't know that. He didn't know that word. So that means that he, that it's totally a new thing. That he's alive. <laughs> And then, yeah, I believe he's alive. If you couldn't think that. 
Behind him, across vast distances of space and time, from the pr place he had left, he thought he heard music, too. But perhaps it was only an echo. Again, he wouldn't... Like, just... Hearing, like... It's either an echo or not. And... Um, if it were an echo, um... He, um, he's, er, um, that would mean that, like, he heard it, it had to be an echo, but if it, if, when you're dead, if you, if you're even sentient, it's your thoughts, so you can't really hear an echo in your thoughts, you can think about how an echo works, but I don't think you can hear a new echo. But then if um it was actually if it were actually there and if there were actually music in his community, um then um I can't think of anything. But um if there were music in his community or from it, um, he wouldn't be able to think there was music. Actually, no, he could think that there was music. Like it says, he thought he heard music, too. But, but, like, it, it would not be, um, like, he wouldn't be able to understand that it was music, even if he heard music in front of him, which he's certain in he heard. He can't be if he's dead. Like, if, it, if it's actually music from behind him, well, it's the same thing, kind of. I don't know. I don't have that much justification for that point. But I think he's alive since he got since he wouldn't be able to know what music was even though it said he knew there was music so that means he's alive argue with me if you want to